Boiler! What are we doing here? It must have been the power of fire! <laughs> yeah, hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. So, I recommend you save before battling any of these guys because if you lose, they're gonna probably change your requirement as to how you can battle them. And if you don't have the cards for that, like say our Pidgey that we worked very hard to get, that would be kind of an issue, because you'd have to go and get those cards then, unless you already got them in your collection and whatnot. So let's let's not do that, and instead, let's do a little bit of just regular switch swapping in our deck here. And I'm going to put two of each of these Pidgeys. I kind of want this Pidgey more than the other Pidgey, but kind of don't have much of a choice in that matter. Uh, I guess I'll plop in the Pidgeot as well. Oh, and did I not put in the... Super energy remove. I didn't! I know it's gonna be my last card! <laughs> and of course, you gotta swap out the energy. So it's gonna be another solo water energy deck here. Uh, just for the sake of convenience. And Pidgey Guy! I already showed his dialogue before, so I can just go ahead and select yes, set aside six prize cards, beat me, and I'll give you a booster pack. And yes, I of course already save before. Yeah. Snorlax blockade deck is a go-go! And yeah, it's a reference to the two block paths in the original Pokemon games with two Snorlax. And... I did not want to draw this sort of Pidgey first, because it has two energy requirements. Oh, I should have put in the double colorless from my Fireweed deck into here, since I'm using so many colorless critters. Eh, it should be fine. <laughs> he does use some energy removal tactics, but it still should be fine. So yeah, there's the blocking path Snorlax, as you've seen before. Crayon drawing epicness. And uh, here comes the Game Shark. <laughs> uh, well, hmm. Yeah, could stall out the Lickitung there. I mean, yeah, he'll get it back since it's recycle energy, but... He might not want to put it back on there, based on my setup and all. Eh. Maybe I'll go with that Articuno. <laughs> and then it just kind of freeze-dried to Doom. Eh, nope, can't go through that! <laughs> it's all she's got energy removal. That's fine, though. Mm. Alright. You do your game sharking, because it's a six-prize card battle anyway, so... Will be okay. Uh, I guess I might as well. <laughs> Just keep offsetting him like he's offsetting me. And there's our cycle. Just messing with his turn count. Basically, it's another head flip. <laughs> what is with this lick of tongue and head flips? Um, is the water? Is that? I wonder if I'll get a Pidgeotto. I can I can wait on Professor Oak. See how it goes. Eh, I mean I probably won't get a Pidgeotto. <laughs> chances, chances are there's only three decks I mean three cards in my deck named Pidgeotto, so yeah. Alright. Big Bird is a go-go. Water energy. Yeah, not a Pidgeotto, so let's just Professor Oak. That it the Pidgeot is the randomized version, and you, I just kind of put it in there to use for kicks. Ooh, okay. I'm gonna go for that fire. I'm thinking maybe I should go for that recycle energy again, too, to keep messing with his turn count. He does have a bunch of double colorless energy, though, so maybe I shouldn't get too greedy. Look at all this water! <laughs> so maybe I shouldn't get too greedy with that. Yeah, just freeze dry. No paralysis. Alright. That's okay. I was going for it, but it failed me. And energy removal of Kuno, so I won't even be able to use the Blizzard, but I don't think I was going to use the Blizzard anyway, because it's one HP shy, or I should say one damage counter shy from that. So yeah, plop that on there. Hmm. Oh, he did run out of energy. Good, good. <laughs> so he really only had that one recycle and then the fire. That's not the, that's good information right there. <laughs> okay, so he's got double colorless on the chancy, which I'll promptly remove. And paralysis hits like a ton of bricks, as is the nature of the stick of tongue. Uh, I'll probably do that. Okay, I already did that, I should say. 
And done. Uh, yeah. I may, like, try and sweep at Blizzard, but... Oh, he's got another double colorless plus power on Licky for an extra powerful <laughs> tongue wrap. But it will not be enough to do uh, a KO or paralysis or anything like that. Um, he might actually be going for two double colorless with double edge twice. Maybe. <laughs> I'm not sure, but I should probably try and do the wave in the future, since I got the Jiggly. Doesn't matter if I get heads or not, because that Lickitug is a goner. Now, I could have done Blizzard to possibly do damage to his stuff ahead of time, but it might also do damage to my stuff, too. So, that's probably not a good idea. And, ooh, Scrunch works. So, he'll be able to double edge. That means he'll probably knock out... The bird. Oh, that, oh god, yeah, I don't have the seal. It's the star you that I have. Uh, but then there's the issue. I don't really have much more to do other than the freeze dry. I mean, yeah, <laughs> I tried. I tried. <laughs> and he's probably, yep, I was gonna say, he's probably gonna go for the double edge. That's a pretty pricey attack. Does 80 to himself. I mean, yeah, you will be able to do, have some sweeping with that, but... Why? <laughs> oh, um... Yeah, that's... That being said, it's super energy removal may just, uh... May just kind of throw him for a loop here. I'm gonna discard that and discard that. That sets them back a bunch of turns. And... I guess I'll do it on Pidgey. And slap. So yeah, now, now, we're, now we're in kind of a good good spot here. And Bill's Teleporter for... Unsuccessful. So that's a dead card, minus one in the hand. And... I got a Pidgeotto. So I'll power up the Pidgeotto, since that seems to be my options. <laughs> it's just the way that seem, things seem to be rolling here. Not gonna get. Oh, it's seal. Ooh, okay. I was gonna say, I'm not gonna get a wiggly tough anytime soon, but I got a seal. That, that might work. Now, I can't switch because of the Pokemon power of the Snorlax, as you know, because it blocks our path. <laughs> um. Yeah, I'm gonna go for the Dugong next then. That just seems like a good idea. Because chances are, by the time that Snorlax will be able to attack and knock out Staryu. I will be able to Aurora Beam it into Oblivion. Maybe. <laughs> ah, looking good there, Bench. Looking good. <laughs> and where's my Professor Oaks, anyway? <laughs> so yeah, got a whole bunch in the back. Roll over. And no sleepy sleepy. So that's there's the attack of Snorlax there, and yeah, it may, it may also uh, put... Oh, wait, actually, wait a second, roll it. Yeah, you, it may also put my Pokémon to sleep as well, like I thought. And there's my Professor Oak. Um, do I? I probably do, just in case of do the wave. Mm. Yeah, let's use it now. Just kind of get a leg up on him. I mean, yeah, he's got a lot of stall cards, but it's not really that worrisome or anything like that. <laughs> Unfortunately, I cannot get the wave going, but I can get the slap going and set things up for a miniature do the wave in the future there. And there's the rollover. It doesn't matter if he gets the coin flip. He's going to put himself to sleep and I'll be able to knock out the remainder of the HP with the Wiggly or Dugong. What if I should do Dugong? Maybe I will, because it has... I, I guess you could say less requirements to do damage than the Wigglytuff, because Wigglytuff requires the full bench and everything like that. So yeah, we just kind of kind of save that. Dugong will be fine for now. I mean, Wigglytuff can do 60, but we're good with 50s at the moment, so... Uh, he's probably going to go for double colorless energy for a... Multi-punch attack of doom, yes! Yes! Um... So we're gonna call discard that. Wipe those out to set them back a couple turns. 
get the Wiggly gone or our beam. So yeah, even if he's fetching for turn, I mean fetching for cards on his turns, that's still not exactly a, all that good of a thing because he's not. I mean he's so behind on energy compared to my side that it's kind of kind of over, I would say. <laughs> And there's our 50. Victory so far. And the Snorlax of freshness. And a chain. Oh man. Oh man. He's, he does have a double. He was going for that multi punch of doom. Um. I don't, I don't know if I want to use Bill. I probably want to use Bill. Because, I mean, I'm just thinking of the cards that I have left in my deck, but I have two prize cards, so. Uh, I'm gonna go for that. And Aurora Beam. He may very well be able to roll over if he's got another double colorless. I wasn't counting how many he used already. Uh, a Chansey. Okay, so... I guess he doesn't real. I didn't realize that he was kind of in a tough spot there or something? I don't know. I don't know, like, why wouldn't he just t attach the... Hmm, anyway. There's the other Wiggly! <laughs> and... Scrunch, of course. Yeah, I thought as much. It's, this is where the Game Shark comes into play. <laughs> anyway, I am going to go for the Ice Beam, though. Because if I can cause paralysis, that will prevent any sort of scrunching issues. Uh, maybe, well, probably should have just evolved Jigglypuff to Wigglytuff right away. But, yeah, I guess we're fine. He might start the uh, energy removaling. <laughs> just, yeah, I, I'm... Uh, well, actually, it may not help that much. Um, well, let's do that in general. Uh, I do need to fill up my bench. I'm gonna do retreat to the Wiggly. Well, no, 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 no. <laughs> and then fill up the bench. There we go. And yeah, I think. We will be doing 260s for the win. If he doesn't get a coin flip heads, that will be game over. I mean, he might go for the uh, pfft, might go for the double edge, but I would highly doubt that because he'll knock out his own Pokemon. That would be a massive lapse in AI judgment. <laughs> Regardless of what he does, that will work in my favor. And potion energy. Okay, that's all okay, right. And scrunches. <laughs> So yeah, the Potion Energy is actually a pretty good move, because it puts him just out of range of the wave. And... I will still you do the wave, because, you know, 60 damage is kind of hard to, uh, kind of hard to deal with here. <laughs> and yeah, this, he is not going for the double edge, as I expected. That would have been funny if he would have, though. Alright, Scrunch is successful, so I guess I could use Lullaby instead. I mean, it prevents damage, but it doesn't prevent status effects. So, if he, I was gonna say, if he's not able to wake up, then he can't scrunch. So yeah, I've got, I've kind of got him in a pretty good corner right now. But I think he's gonna do a switch. Uh, wait, what? You, you took him from my dugong and not the Wiggly? Why? <laughs> that, that would have. Oh no! Now this is another one of those sorts of situations where you deserve to lose. <laughs> Alright. Well, I mean, I guess it wouldn't have mattered because I could have switched from Wiggly to the Dugong anyway. But that would have cost me more energy to do so on my own than he could have super energy removal as a surprise. I, I don't know. This youth who has come here is indeed a strong one. <laughs> Give me those booster packs. <laughs> I, I took forever to get these Pidgey. I win! Lepros. You got the Sleepies, like the Lullaby. Well, though, it's not guaranteed. And so for 30, it's kind of like a splashable water basic Pokemon. I wouldn't say it's better than the regular Lapras, though, because le regular Lapras has Confuse Ray to Boots. But I'll, I don't really have one right now, so that might be a nice option in general to play around with. And the rest are duplicates. Legends of Booster Pack. Ooh, ooh! Now this would be pretty nice for the energy removal. Like instead of uh, the Pidgey, because I was forced to use the Pidgey, I put in the Dratini and Dragonair, 
and then I can Hyper Beam to Doom and back. I may just do that. <laughs> Another Pokemon trader, always nice to see for their versatility. Well, I'll be. It's been a while since I've lost. Next time you come to fight, I may change my card requirements. See what I mean? Yeah, so save before you play them and make sure you win! And if you do lose, just reset your game! <laughs> uh, like, let's see what he has to say here. You wanna have a card battle? I'll play much better today. I'm see oh, you're usually looking for the Pidgey cards again. Alright. We don't have enough cards, it's your problem. I don't wanna mash it that too quickly, otherwise it'll end up being a Kapora Gaydora section. <laughs> where you just keep trying to get out of it and you just can't. You just can't. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, about the Tratini and Dragonair combo. Might as well give that a try. Mm -hmm. Which one do I want, though? Probably this one. Yeah, probably that one. No, I have to do, use one of those. I was thinking that balance, though. So we're gonna plop those bad boys in there and remove energy all over the place. <laughs> Uh, I'm a little bit off in my cards, though, so you know what I could do? I could try out new Lapras. That wouldn't hurt. Oh, and yes, I am gonna save my game before doing so. Oh, yeah, I need to actually do Mysterious Fossil. I forgot about that for the next guy, so I, I can't settle on this deck as is. Um, I don't know if I want to use that. I'm, I'm tempted to, but I'm, I don't want to rely on the fossils, you know? I just, I just need the fossils. Because <laughs> I'm not making a mysterious fossil deck, I'm just kind of forced to, uh, yeah. Now I gotta probably use something with them that would, that would make a little bit of sense, you know? Um, I don't know what I want to drop here. Uh, hmm. Hmm. I probably want the Ammonite. Then I gotta drop seven critters. Probably an evolutionary line of something. Uh, oh yeah, I don't... Oh yeah, it's threes and twos. Mmm! <laughs> uh, wait, wait, wait. How about I do this instead? I will go... Less Dragonair. I mean, uh, less Tratini and Dragonair. Do that, do that instead. Um... And then I'll drop a whole evolutionary line here. It's just, it's just turning into like a colorless deck more than anything. Uh, maybe I'll go like this because I have a similar. Uh, oops, no, no, no. Yeah, it's fine. I have a si similar. Uh... Oh, you know, actually, no, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. I, think I should go and do the do, <laughs> and instead take out the star you because I've been using a lot of star you lately. Yeah... okay. I think I will leave these as is. There we go. Actually, save yes. No. <laughs> and, as I said, before you battle these guys, just in case you lose, okay? Okay. Do you have the four cards I requested in your deck yet? I want Mysterious Fossil cards. Do you understand? Four Mysterious Fossil cards I need if you wish to fight me. I suppose you don't have the cards which I have requested. No matter, I'll wait here for you. Well, no. Don't just sit around. Go collect the cards you need. I got them! Do you have the four cards you have requested yet? One mysterious fossil cards, you understand? And then, 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 uh, yes. Chuck, you have indeed heeded my requests. Now let us stall no further. Set aside six prize cards. Yeah, everyone wants a 2% death deck. Yeah, everyone wants, um, a tremendous. I mean, uh, yeah, a, a tremendous amount of prize cards, and maximum prize cards here. So this is like, getting close to end game big time, so to speak. <laughs> I guess you could say. Because these are big duels. Alright, this is my Mysterious Fossil, and an Ammonite to boot. So yeah, I chose this Ammonite because of the possibility of boosting their attacks. Um, for now, I think I'll lead with Lapras. And there we go. Oh, I should have... Uh, again, I should have put in the double color list for the Hyper Beam. Well, I'm going first, so... <laughs> Hopefully, things will be working in my favor. As you can see, I can sing, but it may not work, but it works. <laughs> 
and we'll see how this duel turns out. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Uh -uh. Of course, they're gonna get the head flips. When I got my head flips, it's like the lick a tongue. Ooh, ah, uh, ooh, ah, uh, ooh, ah. Uh. <laughs> oh, yeah, I should play that. Now, remember, if Mysterious Fossil gets knocked out, it doesn't count as an actual knockout. It's just a thing of that, uh. You, you gotta kind of protect it for however long you need it out so you can actually evolve something from it, you know? Anyway, I'm gonna go for the Surf now instead. Ooh, Dark Clefable! Oh, I thought he was evolving as his active. Okay. So does that... I should probably super energy removal that. Uh, once he inevitably puts a double colorless on that. Alright. Plop that on there. Ammonite. Um, Prehistoric Dream to power it up. But, well... Not right now. I'm not using a fossil critter, so I don't really need to bother with that. I don't even know if I'll have to use the Ammonite or anything like that, but... Alright, so now here comes the Clefable with double colorless, right? Onyx? Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, really? I'm... I'm a little befuddled by that move. <laughs> uh... Hmm... Hmm... Hmm! Alright, let's go for the rolling tackle. And the surf. So I guess he doesn't have double colorless then. So... That means he... I mean, I am safe for probably the turns that Clefable is out, unless he's gonna do... or try and do the Darkness Punch. See, the Dark Song is, uh... Uh, you see all damage done by Dark Pokémon is reduced by random number, as long as that Pokémon is the active Pokémon. Uh, but it's not really... yeah. But the thing about it is the D Dark Song could potentially cause a lot of ire. That's the thing that I was mainly worried about, because the Sleep plus Bench Attack dealio, but... I think I'm just gonna <laughs> just take care of that. <laughs> and yeah, so, uh, that, as I said, Lapras is gonna be safe for two more turns at least, because it's one double colorless and possibly something else. Okay, so Surf didn't do that much damage this time. Because uh, yeah, that uh, Pokemon power, it does random, it ra random reductions. So yeah. Uh, it may it may not reduce that at, at all this time. It might do 30, not the 10. So yeah, it's 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 a Game Boy card basically because it has that randomness factor. Oh, <laughs> and I have a Jiggly too. That could very well be game over if I can power that bad boy up. So at least 20 I need to do here. That was perfect grammar. And <laughs> it got 30 there. One turn too late, but that is okay. Got a bind. Gonna get the head flips like, like the lick a tongue. Of course you are. <laughs> Probably all day and all night. I'm gonna energy removal that. I got Professor Oak waiting in the wings, and I should probably get these critters set up here. Can't attack, so we're done. <laughs> I forgot it was for, uh, paralyzed for a second there. I was just thinking of the Professor Oak and all the possibilities that come with that, and I was like, oh yeah! I got binded. <laughs> and... Oh, well, he's not going for the power-up back with the Onyx, so that means he, he probably only has colorless energy, or like, remember that uh, recycle energy I forced him to discard? Yeah! Anyway. Dump everything out, and... This could very well be game over soon. Maybe even before we take our last couple of prize cards. We shall see. Oh, I should have checked my hand, but <laughs> nah, whatever. <laughs> Not that worried about what I had in my hand since I was going to surf anyway. Yeah, let's see, see here. Okay, I guess I could have built, but I was still going to do a surf. Mm -hmm. And I already attached the energy card last turn too, by the way, so... Should I...? I probably should. <laughs> Add some pressure to the mix. I mean, that Lapras is a nice attacker in general, uh, for like a quick attacker in a way. As I said, probably not as good as the regular Lapras from the Fossil set, but uh, still still not that bad. And Lullaby... I mean, uh, <laughs> Lullaby. <laughs> the calling worked. I mean, that was sort of like a Lullaby. 
but I mean, it, it didn't work the same in effect. Oh, and, I, and now I'm gonna get a Dragonair Hyper Beam? It's like Christmas! <laughs> You'll be able to suck away all the energy. <laughs> um, I actually, it might not even come to that point because I'm just gonna keep doing the wave and he doesn't have uh, that much attack power to really wipe out Wigglytuff. So yeah, I mean I can go for it, but do the wave is just gonna keep nicking off 60 at a time, and everything else has got under 60, so if he doesn't have any sort of protection, it is a goner. Eh, I could have tried that last turn, I guess, but hmm. Eh, eh, we'll see how it turns out. There's still many turns to go, and I could suck up all that energy. <laughs> Uh, that's kind of kind of pointless because wrap. Yeah, I could only suck away one energy card anyway. I mean, maybe you could get a dark dragon arrow. Ah, I, I got I got so much so much good going on my side. Oh, oh, no, no, I want to just get done. <laughs> so I was like, eh, yeah, I'll wait it out. If he gets any sort of tails flip on the wrap, it is over. And it is not over. <laughs> That's okay. He'll get a tails eventually. Wait, wait. Eh. I'll hold off. I got a handful of good cards here, so I don't really need the Professor Oak or anything like that right now. All right, onyxing to go for a different sort of stall. That's probably the the wise decision because, at the very least, if he flips tails like that, I won't be able to utterly knock it out with the power of the Wiggly. Well, unless I had plus power or something like that. Um, yeah, go for the Dugong too. <laughs> That's another thing that I have a possibility of doing with. Uh, but yeah, do the wave for 60, and now he's really stuck. Uh, Dark Dragonair, it was a coming. So you might get uh, Dark Dragonite to boot. Well, he's got to really hope for the heads flip though, still, because that that's it doesn't have the amount of HP that it needs to to keep itself going there. Oh, it's got the Dark Dragonite there, so he doesn't have to use the Evolutionary Light. He might just use it anyway, just to filter the deck though. And oh. Just ever so hanging in there. <laughs> um, Dugong. Energy removal on that Dark Dragon Air for the double colorless. And call it a turn. He can knock out the Wigglytuff if he wants to. Whatever I switch in is going to be able to knock out the Onyx, so. Yeah, I mean, it may, it may technically not be a clean sweep of uh, all our prize cards before he gets one, but. You cannot, you cannot deny the coin flips had a high factor in this. <laughs> That's all right though. And Dragonair, the beauty is finally out, waiting to destroy everyone. By the way, you may get zero if you use Slam, so I'm using Hyper Beam, <laughs> and I get a free discard, but that would have happened anyway of the energy card because, yeah, the knockout, and VICTORY IS MINE! Woo! Colorless Altar is completed, and you know, I really want that Snorlax coin. Probably more than any other coin in the game because it's my favorite critter. <laughs> oh boy, did I lose. Yes, you did! <laughs> That was really fitting. Um, I showed you retreat aid, pay one less to retreat. I yeah, I did. And the rage, one ten, I ten plus ten more for every damage counter. Ooh, QDV of the extended gnaw and the charge. It may do nothing. Oh, the venomoth, common venomoth actually, to be precise. Uh, it does a switchy, switchy, but do the damage before, and you may switch. Uh, I mean, you, not may, you have to, excuse me, so it's, it's like a switch plus the gust of wind plus 20 in one. <laughs> and it may cause paralysis or poison. Wait, I think I showed that one before, come to think of it. One, did I show Foxfire? Uh, yeah, I did show Foxfire Vulpix. 
All right, I'm just there's so many cards I don't remember what I showed at this point. <laughs> Regular old Raichu can do the damage of all prevention. I mean eff effects of all attacks. Uh, so no paralysis, no sleep. Unlike Chansey Scrunch, it also prevents uh, damage on top of that and thunder. Maybe 32 itself. That's iffy. You're probably gonna want to go for the agility or use the thunder if like a last ditch destruction. If need be, it's only got 80 HP and you're doing 30 to yourself, possibly. So, yeah, I might want to wanna consider that carefully. Oh, ne new uh, Nidorino here. Uh, it may do no damage and 20 to itself, so it's a risk-reward attack. Similar to that uh, regular Nidoran with th uh, 30 or 0. Yeah. Um, fossil Excavation, another one of those. Oh wait, did I ever show you Recycle? I think... Probably did. Yeah, you just... If you get heads, you put a card from your discover pile on top of your deck. That can help prevent deck outs as well as get a good card back next turn. Unless your opponent shuffles your deck in some way. Like the Mankey or something. <laughs> uh, new Spiro. This one I'm, I'm pretty sure is new. <laughs> Fury Attack 2 for uh, every heads. Well, I mean, it's usually 10 for every heads with two coins. And, well, dust. So, you probably always want to use the Fury Attack, because you're probably going to average 10 no matter what, and you may do 20, but you may get 0, but the chances of that is pretty low. Just like uh, getting 20 is pretty low, but yeah, it's a thing of, probably you're going to go for that over this, unless you really know you're going to knock something out for 10 damage. Anyway, <laughs> and that's it. Another Foxfire Vulpix. A loss is a loss. I'm not ashamed to admit it. Will you fight against the dreaded Allen again? <laughs> if so, then Dratini cards. But four Dratini cards in your deck, so yeah, the requirement has changed. Uh, no. We're done. 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 If you already have them inside, let's get the battle underway. Nope. Uh, I guess I can't coax you into it since you already beat me once. Alright. Oh, 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 oh! You defeated all of us, eh? And take this, the GR colorless coin. So about that coin, I got it! Yes! The greatest coin in the world! Woo! And I gotta switch coins again in, gen in general, but I'm just kind of going down the line. Anyway, ah, oh, Mint, looks like you already have the GR psychic coin. That can only mean you'll be entering GR Castle soon. That would mean <coughs> that that would make you the first non-team GR member to enter the castle. Whoa! If you happen to meet Velocini, give him my kind regards. Oh, oh uh, hey there, Mint. Looking for another fight? I know you fought before at certain rules, but I've switched things up. This time, I'm focusing on fighting with Meowth cards. Before you need to no. Is it possible that you don't have enough of those cards yet? I'll go out and collect some more and return to me so you can fight. No, thank you! I am done here. So with that, I'm ending off the parts. Here. <laughs> I hope you enjoy, and I will see you in the next part when I go and explore the island, like maybe a certain house off the side, and then maybe over to the GR castle, perhaps, maybe? We'll see.